Good morning, everybody. New uh, new studio here. So it's uh, at uh, it's the cycle studio, the spin studio at uh, at Sun Life Sun Life Plaza. We got uh, new bikes. Uh, I've been teaching. I've been showing you on, on Kaiser bikes uh, uh, before. Uh, these these bikes are, are ICG bikes. They they they. Um, they have all the features of the Kaiser bike. Plus, they have one other feature. It's it, it's a it's a color feature. I'm not going to use that today. Uh, we'll do that. We'll do that later. I, I need to uh, need to familiarize myself with the, with the gears. They, these these particular bikes go from zero to a hundred for for a gear. It doesn't doesn't really matter. What matters again is our is our intensity, is our tension, is is the way is the way we're pushing our heart and lungs. Uh, and uh, the, the lights, the, the five zones of lights, uh, uh, relate to uh, our, our, uh, our, our, our aerobic, our anaerobic, and our, and our hard anaerobic, and our power intervals. There's five different kind of levels <laughs> you can, you can, uh, you can uh, use, but it all, it all, again, it's all, it's all that five out of ten intensity, six, seven, eight, nine, ten out of ten intensity, uh, based on that uh, uh, board scale. Anyway, uh, the bike, these are a little harder to clip in. New bikes, brand new bikes. We got 19 bikes here. Uh, anyway, a little little hard to clip in. They just have to get worn out a little bit. Same setup as as all bikes. Uh, your your uh, your height of the saddle is is so your your leg is about 95 percent extended at, at the bottom. Uh, and again, adjust it, adjusting the seat back and forward so that ball the heels. Sorry, the the knee is right over top the ball of the foot so you get that power, the same kind of power. Again, the handlebar height, go, or the handlebar goes slides back and uh, slide goes up and down. You want a nice 90 degree angle here. Again, again this is a, a cardiovascular workout. You're only concerned with breathing and utilizing those three Three energy systems in uh, in your muscles in your legs. So uh, we'll get started here. Again, four minute warm up. Gonna clip in again. A little sticky. There we go. And a nice and a nice easy gear. These bikes takes a little while to warm up. You press the little man on the left. You press the little check mark. The next one over when it lights when it light, lights up. So we're just doing a quick start here. Nice easy gear. If you're going easy. You're somewhere around 10 intermediate level. You're somewhere around 20 for a gear. And if you're really strong in the legs, you're up around 30. And that's your road gear. Now we need to stretch out that upper body. Reach around, grab an elbow, pull it in, stretch out the back of the shoulder. Reach around, grab the other elbow, pull it in, stretch out the other shoulder. Nice slow four rotations of the shoulders. And reverse the direction. Now again, the whole idea of spin, of cycle, is a cardiovascular workout. You're in control of the workout. We got a little dial here. That, enjoy, that, that, that adjusts the tension. The tension here is in the top right hand corner. The speeds in the top left hand corner. We're somewhere between 75 and 85 RPMs. Now the whole, again, the whole idea is spin. Cardiovascular workout. You want your heart rate to be somewhere between 70 and 95% the whole class. At 
70 percent we're gonna again with adjusting of the gears of the speed at 70 percent you wouldn't be able to hold a fluent conversation with somebody at 95 percent that's where you're gonna find the, that's the hardest part of the class about 10 percent of the class that's where you're breathing so hard that you find it difficult or you don't even be able to talk in one or two word sentences a few things about riding the bike. You want to keep your chin up, shoulders back, shoulder blades down, you're not down, nice and relaxed in the shoulders, elbows bent slightly. Again, you're pushing hard the, the balls of the feet at the front of the stroke, lifting up with the heels at the back of the stroke. This bike doesn't have a lock, but you turn it all the way to the right. That'll increase the tension. That'll lock the pedals and it's safe to dismount off the bike. Have water anytime you want. Take brakes anytime you want. Besides, or in addition to the brakes I give you. Never stop pedaling. Your maximum speed in the saddle is 110. Out of the saddle is 90. Minimum speed the whole time is 60 RPM. Add some gears now, add some tension. I'm moving it up about 10 or 20, 20 levels, they call it on this bike. Here we go, we're going out of the saddle now. Keeping it somewhere between 75 and 90 RPMs. Back in the saddle, pick up the speed now, work it to 90 to 110 RPMs. For 30 seconds up, 30 seconds down, back up in 5 seconds. Here we go again. When you're out of the saddle, you should feel that saddle touching the inside of your thighs or the back of your butt. That's the proper position. Again, nice and light on those handlebars. Save the energy for your legs. Back in the saddle. Add some more tension now. Take it up five more units. Now we're at seven out of 10. Somewhere between 90 and 110 RPMs. Back up again. Now you're breathing hard enough that you wouldn't be able to hold a fluent conversation with somebody. It's your workout. Make it harder if you want. Add another five years and get back in the saddle. Pick up the speed again. 100 RPMs. Add some more tension. 8 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Now you're breathing heavy. Back up again. Good work. One more down, one more up. Back down. Pick up the speed. Add 
some more tension. Oh, I just figured out the stop button. You jam it all the way in. That locks the pedals. One more up. Last up. Now you're breathing heavy. Nine out of ten. Standing hill climb. Fast hill climb coming up. Last down. Sprint now. Hard as you can. Keep it under 110. Hurry! 20 seconds to go. Back it off. Back it off to your rope gear. Here we go, out of the saddle now. Fast hill climb. You're at your rope gear, a little bit above. Keep those hips stable. 90 RPMs. Ninety up, hundred and ten down on this hill climb, alternating again. Speed hill climb, back down, hundred and ten RPMs. Speed in the top left on these bikes. Concentrating on that speed. Increasing that neurological connection between our brains and our muscle cells. Back up again at 90. 90 up, 110 down. That's what you're shooting for. You're in the aerobic zone again. Heart rate's down, 70%. Keep it above that. Unable to talk in a coherent sentence. Three, two, back in the saddle, 110. Good work. Relax on those handles. Relax the shoulders, shoulder blades down, tighten up that core, back out of the saddle, 430 at 90 RPMs. Less than two minutes to go. Back down for 20. Up for 20. Now it's fast ups, fast down, five down, five up. All speed down 110 for five. Up for five, 90 RPMs. Down for five. Up for five. Down for five. Slow it down. 
Have some water. Back to your resting gear. Have some water. Slow hill climb now. Now we want to get up to that 7 or 8 out of 10. Right away. After your rest. Up to you. You want to keep. You want to make it hard. Start right away. The rest of us got another 30 seconds of rest. Then we're at the 8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10 level. 60 RPMs. In 10 seconds. 9 out of 10. 60 RPMs. Hard hill. Move it up. Go. Struggle to keep it at 60. Two minute hill climb. I'm looking at my watt number. Second row on your left. This should be about, this is my functional threshold potential. I'd be able to hold this for one hour. Breathing heavy, breathing at that 95% level. Minute and a half to go. You can do a sprint, a 10 on a 10 sprint. You're all warmed up. 15 minutes of warming up for this 95% heart rate max sprint. Up or down, your choice. Ready? Sprint hard! Sprint to the top of the hill! Now you're at that 95! Hard to breathe! Only able to talk! In one or two word sentences! 20 to go!
two minutes. Another all out sprint. Out of the saddle. Shoot for that nine out of ten or ten out of ten again. Add some more tension. Get it to eight or more. Sprinting in a minute and a half. Look at your watch. That's your eight out of ten watch. In one minute. Stay here. You got a two minutes to the end of this song. You be the judge. How long can you hold it? At nine out of ten. Out of the saddle. Same speed or more. Keeping it under 90 RPMs. Thirty seconds. Ready. In twenty. Push yourself. Another nine out of ten sprint. Do it in the saddle if you have bad knees. Sore lower back. Ready? In five. Here we go. Out of the saddle. Keep it under 90. Hard as you can. 50 seconds to go. Keep in position over top the front of the saddle. Spin hard. Plenty to go. Back it off. Good work. Have some water. Back to the speed drills. Aerobic. At your resting gear. This is an active rest. You pick the level. Your speed is 100 RPMs. You may need a minute or two to recover. This is a five minute speed drill. I'm at my road gear. That's been 40 seconds. I'm taking it up to six out of 10. Able to get out of the saddle. Position myself over top of the saddle without my hips. Bouncing up and down. Here we go, out of the saddle. 90 RPMs. Aerobic speed drill. Engaging our core, stabilizing our hips. Nice and relaxed on the shoulders and elbows. Thirty seconds to go. One 
One minute speed. Up and down. Three, two, back in the saddle, 110. Back in, go! 
I don't say I want this area of choice. <laughs> Back down at 
some more. Another five if you can keep it over 60. Back up again. 60 RPMs. Back down, add some more tension. Another five. Eight or nine out of ten. And we're up. Back down. More gears. Keep it over 60.
5%. Only eight when I'm talking one sentence. One word sentence, that is. 40 to go. Hard as you can, don't let up. Don't lose your position. 10 seconds to go. Back it off. Slow it down. Four minutes. Climb. Starting off in the saddle. Four minutes to the end of the class. 45 minute class today. At your road gear. Here we go. Pushing at 90 to 110 RPMs. At the road gear. When you're recovered. Up and down. 10 seconds up, 10 seconds down. Add some gears. Six out of 10 level. Up for 10, here we go. Up for 10. Down for 10. Adding one, two, three, four, five. Every time we go down. Back down. Add some gears. Your choice. Three minutes to go to the end of the class. Back up again for 10. And yep. 90 down. Back down. That's some years. Two and a half minutes to go. 90 up, 90 down. Back up again. Every time you go down, we're adding anywhere from one to five years. Back down. Add some more. Now we're at about seven or eight out of ten. Only able to talk in broken sentences. Back up. Three, two, back down, add some more. Two minutes to go. Eight or nine out of ten. Back up, 90 RPMs. Position the ladder on top of the saddle. Back down, 90 RPMs. Add some more. Minute and 40. Back up. Back down again. Minute and 30. More tension. Shoot for 90. Up again. Step down. One minute to go. Nine to ten out of ten. Back up. Less than a minute to go.
keep it at 60. Starting to cool down. At your resting gear. 10 easy, 20 medium, 30 strong. Reach around, grab an elbow, pull it in. Stretch out the back of the shoulder. Reach around, grab the other elbow. Pull it in, stretch out the other shoulder. Nice slow forward rotations. Pull that knee on the cool down. Let that heart rate come back to the safe level. Below the 70%. Reverse the direction of the shoulder rolls. Drop one hand, put the other hand over your head. Stretching out that lat muscle. Drop the other hand, the other hand over your head. Stretch out the other lat. Take some nice deep breaths. All the air you can in through the nose, hold it. Blow it all out through your mouth. Warm a W with your arms and elbows. Pull the elbows back, stick the chest out, stretch out the pec and the front of the shoulder, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Now you jam that little knob all the way in that locks the pedals. And it's safe to unclip from your bike. Put one foot on the stand on the floor, keep your back straight, legs straight, lean forward, stretching on that calf muscle in the back of your, back of your uh, leg. Put that other foot on the stand, heel on the floor again, everything straight, lean forward, stretching on the other calf muscle. Stand or the seat or the handlebars. Stabilize yourself on the bike. Legs straight, back straight, head up. Hinge at the hips. That'll stretch out that hamstring on the back of your leg on the bike. Foot up on the stand or the seat or the handlebars. Again, everything straight. Hinge at the hips. Stretching out the other hamstring. Stretching helps our flexibility and more importantly helps our recovery from the cardiovascular workout. Put one heel. Stabilize yourself on the bike again. One heel across the thigh. Sit backwards. Again, keep your head up, never drop your, never drop your head. It rounds your back, you can hurt your spine, even with no weight. Sit backwards, you should feel a stretch on the back of your hips. That's the glute muscle. Put that other foot on the other side. Sit backwards, stretching out the other glute muscle. Make sure you have water now between a half liter and a liter of water. Water the water, you sweat it out and breathe out. Reach around, grab an ankle. Pull the thigh back. Push the hip forward. Stretching out those quad muscles and hip flexor. And stabilizing yourself on the bike, or you can do this on the floor. Doing it on the floor without stabilizing helps our balance. is important too. Strength. Cardiovascular fitness and balance, flexibility. Reach around, grab the other ankle, pull the other thigh back, push the other hip forward. Feel that pull, nice get the pull of the quads. Thanks for 
for coming. Again, it's important to have an after workout snack. Pear, cranberry, banana, muffins, whole wheat flour, wheat bran, wheat germ. Replenish the carbohydrates, or, sorry, replenish the glycogen we burned off in our muscle and our liver with healthy carbohydrates, nutrient rich carbohydrates. That's the key. We want to feed our muscles and give them those extra micronutrients so they can actually work better for our next exercise. Again, recovery snack helps our recovery. <laughs> So uh, again, nice, nice, uh, nice studio here. So someday, someday we'll do some classes here at, at Sun at Sun Life Plaza. Anyway, you guys uh, have a great day, and we'll see you see you tomorrow. Thanks for coming.